In this example, we're told that an upward force F right here is used, used to lift a wheelbarrow. So the ground is right down here, and it pivots at the wheel. The wheelbarrow and its contents have a mass of 180 kilograms, which produce a downward force as shown. So there's a bunch of stuff in the wheelbarrow. It might be a bunch of dirt in here. And we can think of the weight acting down as a single force acting at the center of all of that stuff. So the downward force acts at the place where that arrow is drawn. And that's a distance D1 here from the fulcrum. And then the force F that we're pulling up with is at a distance d2 from the fulcrum. And we're given those numbers. This distance, the short distance, is 0.4 meters, and d2, the longer distance, is 1.4 meters. Uh, these, these variables, d1 and d2, have been arranged differently in previous problems. That doesn't really matter. The thing, the thing to understand is the ratio of the distances. It's not, it doesn't matter which one you call d1 and, and d2. You just need to understand that in this situation, you get a mechanical advantage because the lever arm for your upward force is larger than the lever arm for the downward force. So you get a mechanical advantage that is going to be the ratio of those two distances. And that's what we're told to find first. Find the mechanical advantage of this lever. So the mechanical advantage will be the ratio of those distances. It's going to be 1.4 meters divided by 0.4 meters. And that comes out to 3.5. The units cancel out. We're left with 3.5. So if we lift up with a certain force F right here, we're going to get three times as much force acting upward at this point lifting up the mass and the wheelbarrow and that's what we're trying to find next find the force required to do the lifting well the weight of everything acting downward in the wheelbarrow is m times g and we were told that it's 180 kilograms and g, of course, is 9.8 meters per second squared. So when we multiply those, we get 1,764 newtons. That's how much that mass weighs. That's how much upward force we would have to lift with to lift it up. But because this wheelbarrow gives us a mechanical advantage of 3.5, the force that we have to lift with is this number divided by 3.5. So we just write 1,764 newtons divided by 3.5. And we do the math. You pull out the calculator, and this comes out to 504 newtons.